brothers. It doesn't say if they were family members, if they were friends, if they were associates, if they were neighbors. But four men got together and realized the only answer for this man is Jesus Christ. The only way that his life is going to change, he's got to know that there's a reality in serving a true and a living God. We've tried everything, we've tried this, we've tried that, but nothing has been able to help him. So they, they found out that Jesus was in Capernaum. And wherever Jesus was, there were all a crowd of people and they didn't get the right time or maybe they had to go the extra mile to pick up the guy so when they got him they, the Bible said they carried this man four men one guy they go to the front door and can't get in they go to the back door and can't get in they go to the side window and can't get in they go to the other side and can't get in and the Bible says uh, these four men uh, uh, did all that they could to reach this brother uh, to get this guy to Jesus Christ now they, listen they could have said oh bro sorry there's no room Oh, bro, sorry, can't get in. We can't even stand around the wall. We can't even get in, bro. Sorry, man, you got to come back another day. Did they do that? No. Did they use it? No. The Bible says they were creative. One of the guys, after they couldn't get through the front door, the back door, the side door, one of the guys said, listen, bro, last year, in between jobs, I used to work for the Capernaum Roofing Company. Y'all yeah, go with me. I'm going somewhere with this, all right? He said, I used to work for the Capernaum Roofing Company, and Tom would have, I worked for the Capernaum I, I know that these roofs on these houses are not are made of very thin material. Bro, if we can get this brother to the roof, now work with me, guys. If we can get him to the roof, I promise you, we can tear off the roof, and we can get this guy to Jesus Christ. Now, let's say, God, you think so? Say, man, I think it's a try. The guy said, let's do it. The paralytic man said, you want to move to the roof? Man, it was just weird. It was weird. It was weird, and, and so they, 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 they worked together, Ma. They worked together, Sheldon, and they got this man up on the roof. They used creative methods in getting this man to Jesus Christ. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, frankly, I'm going to let me suggest to you that if we're going to reach these 15, 16, 17 years old, we got to use some creative methods to reach them. And then, listen, the message does not change. The message does not change. The, it's Jesus Christ yesterday, day, but we, we're going to reach it. We got to change some methods. Yeah, the message does not change, but we got to change. So we got to be creative and get. Years ago, lost people felt come obligated to come to the church because they didn't have a choice. But not today. Uh, not not today. People are not compelled. They don't have a a a, 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 dear, a papa a parent that's telling you need to go. Boy, you can work well. You need to go to church on Sunday morning. So they're not going. We're dealing with a brand new generation of folk uh, who are not even going to have church on their mind. Uh, church, what for? Church, why do we need to go? Church, what are we doing it for? A uh, lady statistic has shown that 85%, listen to this, y'all, 85% of you do not go to anybody's church. Wow, that's sobering. And we wonder why we're having so much problem with it. They don't go to church. They're not challenged with the word of God. They're not challenged by the spirit of God. 85% of our youth do not go to church. Uh, 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 so, so, so we've got to do our best to reach them. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no obligation on their part. That they have no one to uh, uh, want to emphasize them or get in the church. So we got to change our methods. Yes, it's the same message, but our methods must change. Uh, the same mission uh, but, but, and the same master, but our methods must change. Listen, we cannot expect, listen to this well. We cannot expect to reach this hip-hop, gangster rap, BET, MTV, Fat Fall, uh, uh, Hip Hop, uh, Fabu, Sean John wearing, uh, do rag, baggy pants, white oversized t shirts, tattoos everywhere, earrings, and we cannot expect to reach this, this generation that's not listening to preachers, they're not listening to pastors, they're listening to Snoop Dogg and LL Cool J and, and Usher and Mary J. Blyer uh, and, and Beyonce. I forgot, uh, Britney Spears, we have some, uh, some old folk at house, but uh, Britney Spears, uh, Christina Aguilera, I got to clue everybody here, Christina uh, Aguilera, come on Chip, give me, give me a few more, uh, uh, my, Cyrus, the Cyrus girl, yeah, the Cyrus girl, uh, 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 uh Britney Spears, Christina, Lady Gaga, that's a good one, Lady Gaga, got to clue everybody, got to clue everybody, we can Listen, people like that, and, 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 and Beyonce, and Alicia Keys, and, and Ludacris, and T.I. T.I. is out of jail, y'all. Uh, Lil Wayne, Lil Wayne is still in jail, y'all. Uh, uh, Jay Z, uh, uh, we can't expect this generation to listen to, and then to come to church. My brothers and my sisters, we cannot expect to reach this CD, DVD, iPad, iPad, 
a generation with eight track ministry. We gotta change our methods to reach our young people today. Can you can you when I first came here see the pastor, there's no way in the world I would have had a midnight madness. Yeah, you call me the midnight bass, it's hard. You know, but today we've got, because you know, back in the day, people you know, came to church, but today we've got to use every hook we can to reach them. This is how you pass the pastor, Chip and I, you ministry is coming up with all kinds of things. A few, uh, every third Sunday, it's youth Sunday at this church at 1030. A few Sundays ago, this pulpit was off the pulpit, and there was a water bed in the pulpit. Somebody came and said, Pastor Luther, what's a waterbed? See, a waterbed? Where and where? Show me. I came up here, there was a waterbed in the pulpit. But the message was the same. We well, use that skit. I you use that skit of young people in college, and, and they started off well, but they stopped doing the things that they did when they were in church. So we got to use different methods, but the same. We got to use with summer madness. We got to use drama. We got to use liturgical dance. We got to use all the ministries we can uh, to reach our young people to let them know you can come to church and have fun and have a good time and still fall in love with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So on third Sundays, the music is a little louder. The music is a little different than we do all the stuff. But we got to use whatever we can to reach this generation. They were creative in reaching this young man. I got to move on. Not only are we going to reach this generation, we must care about them. Not only must we be creative, but number four, we must cooperate with one another. We must cooperate with one another. Look at verse four as we come to close. And when they could not come near him because of the crowd, they uncovered the roof where he was. So when they had broken through, they lit down the bed on which the paralytic was lying. Ladies and gentlemen, if we're going to reach them, all of us must be a part of this. All of us, not just the preachers, not just the deacons, not, not just the choir members, not just the greeters, but every member of Franklin Avenue Baptist Church. We're going to reach this generation. We've got to cooperate. Notice that word. Uh, we put that put verse 4 back up on the screen just a minute. No, notice notice in, 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 uh, that word. Notice the word they is used four times in this one verse. Let's read it together. And when they could not come near him because of the crowd, they uncovered the roof where he was. So when they had broken through, they let down the bed on which the parent had gone. Four times the word they is used in this one verse. It lets me know that we have to cooperate if we're going to reach this generation. Now, these four men work together to bring this one man to Jesus. Oh, what a lesson we can learn from this third part. These brothers cooperated. They work together. Uh, and I've discovered that if you've been in church a long time, you know, I don't care what you're Baptist, Catholic, Church of God, Church of God in Christ, full gospel, Methodist, I don't care who you are, but I'm independent. Baptist, I don't care uh, who you are, individual. Yeah, I've discovered that one of the ways that the enemy defeats us is by getting us to compete against ourselves. Isn't that amazing? One way that the enemy causes us to not be effective in spreading the gospel is we're so busy competing against ourselves. My brothers and my sisters, they would have never got this man to Jesus if they, didn't, if they didn't cooperate. Suppose one guy said, man, we can go through the roof. Another guy said, no, bro, we can go through this door. No, bro, we can go through this door. No, man, we, if they would have been arguing about that, this man would have never got to Jesus Christ. But they cooperated and realizing that if we're going to get this man's life change, we got to work together. The, so we got to stop competing against one another. This choir against that choir. This ministry against that ministry. This ministry leader competing against that ministry leader. This group against that group. This denomination against that denomination. My brothers and my sisters, you can never win when you're competing against one another. The Saints would have never won the Super Bowl if in the huddle, Drew Brees and Reggie Bush and Malcolm Coulson would all, I want the ball. No, I want the ball. No, I want the ball. No, but I ain't gonna run. But I ain't gonna know. They would have never got to the Super Bowl. When we, in order to win that, we gotta, we will all be on the same page and all together and work together as a team. My brothers and sisters that I come to oppose, let's learn a lesson from these four believers. They work together. My friend, when we bring the loss here on Sunday mornings, we've got to cooperate as a team, as a congregation. We've got to work together. Oh, frankly, I know if we're going to reach the loss when they come here, we've got to work together. So greet us when you greet them at the door. Greet them 
as a team. Uh, ushers, as you give them their program, uh, greet them as a team. Uh, deacons, as you say your prayers, uh, greet them as a team. Uh, deacons, as you serve, uh, greet them as a team. Uh, choir members, as you sing, uh, sing as a team. Uh, preachers, when you preach, uh, preach as a team. Uh, Sunday school teachers, when you teach, teach as a team. Uh, members, when you show hospitality, do it as a team. Uh, let the law see that we're all on the same team. Uh, let the law see we're all playing for the same culture. Let the law see that we're all for one. And that's a final prime. And we say good afternoon. How are we going to reach this generation? What's it going to take to reach this generation? Well, we must show them that we care. We must show them.